This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship Norma Prize for another episode of Homeworld 2 Remastered. Okay, so as you can tell, we're beating up the Kip Nabal a little bit, just making sure that, you know, they understand that Karen Sajet is in charge around here and not them. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell them to stop attacking. So like I guys like I told you guys in the last episode, um I did find I guess you could consider this an exploit, um, where you can just continue to just uh attack the Kipnabala ship, just make sure you don't actually destroy it, and um it'll slowly heal itself over time and you can use that to prepare your army and prepare your uh um, your fleet for the next battle. In fact, we are thirty eight minutes into this um uh, into this mission. I've harvested the entire map, just got done harvesting this, harvested all that, harvested the carrier corpse. We got almost 18,000 RUs and I have an entire um, fleet that is ready to go. <laughs> so yes, if you ever have any struggles in this mission and you're playing on remastered, just do what I did. It'll make it a whole lot easier. Okay, so Reporting. so we can actually go ahead and start doing this mission because it doesn't actually start Airboard until the Kifnabal is repaired. Let's go ahead and bring our harvesters up, get Kifnabal up to speed, and um, we will continue to the next mission, or continue this part of the mission. Now, it should be extremely easy because we killed the carrier that was harvesting resources. We've harvested the entire map, so even if those carriers come in at hyperspace over here, if they come in with resource collectors, they won't be able to do anything because there's no more resources on the map. So once we survive the first wave, all we will have to do is really just kill the carriers. <laughs> and typically, typically how I usually do this mission, um, I will play heavy defense. Um, gotta do that because Homeworld Remaster still has that stupid engine glitch. Um, I will do this mission and have a whole bunch of flak frigates, like 10 of them, just guarding the top of the ship Nabal um, carrier or shipyard. And then I will usually do that um, until the, we run our resources on the map, and then I just send those to kill the carriers. That's typically how I win this match. <laughs> but this is a different way to actually win it. So go, go, go! All of our little workers, repair the Kip Nabal flag ship even though we um totally haven't been bombing it for the past 30 minutes hmm. nope we didn't do it at all that stupid homeworld 2 engine glitch <sighs> so yay and we actually have too many uh workers indeed all repairs completed Yay! We have basic power to all systems. Out time. of a carrier was underway before we were attacked. The shipyard has transferred control of the carrier to us. It is equipped with a frigate facility. Indeed. Recommend building frigates to strengthen the fleet. Yeah, we don't New really need them right now. Options are now available. We really don't need them right now. Confirmed. I mean, I can build a large frigate force. Stupid engine glitch is really getting annoying. But we really don't need them. <laughs> oh, oh, indeed. We can get the anti-subsystem bombs from uh, our bombers. Question mark. Oh, I also did all the research too. Um, there was the fighter, um, uh, blah, 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 the interceptor, whatever you call it. Bombers speed improvement, the gunship and pulsar gunship speed and health improvement, and the mothership apparently had a speed and health improvement too. Indeed. Upgrade complete. All we have is the flak frigate stuff. Oh, and like I said, you don't really have to pay attention to these probes. Um, the game doesn't actually give you enough time to get to these probes before they send in that carrier. Once you kill that carrier, they're not going to send anything else in, so you can safely ignore these probes. Reporting. En route. Okay, miners, get over here. All you guys are done. Copy. So, want Mothership. all of you guys, all of my workers, to get over here. Underway. Reporting. I mean, we could build some flak frigates. That's not going to hurt us. We have a bunch of money. Construction underway. Construction build. Underway. 
five. Fleet, we have multiple hostiles inbound. Here we go. Repeat. The Vega are attacking. The Vega are using infiltration frigates to board the shipyard. If they succeed, we will require marine frigates to recapture it. The shipyard must not fall into Vega hands. Build marine frigates immediately. Oh, whoops, you're the bombers. Strike I forgot. Battle positions. Er. New frigates available oh, shoot. There we go. Go away. Strike group, prepare for assault. Group one. Group Alert. Group two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flag infiltration frigates Infiltrator frigates are coming in. We know, we know. We cannot maintain the fleet if they succeed. They're already dying. Don't worry about them. Supporting friendly units. Drawing heavy fire. Strike group under enemy attack. Sensors detect incoming Vega reinforcements. The Eliminate carriers are on their way. To prevent the Vega from building more infiltration frigates. We will be fine. Don't worry about it. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group two. Okay. Group three. Group three standing by. Supporting friendly units. Take care of these. Black frigate complete. Resource collector awaiting orders. Oh, that was an assault frigate. That's why I was losing my bomber so quickly. Hey, you guys can go up there and attack them if you want. Group one has defeated the enemy. Comes reinforcements. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group one. Strike group prepare for Everything assault. Everything get down here. Group two copies. Strike group prepare for assault. Yeah, they do have assault frigates. Okay. Assault frigates are good against frigates. Group three. Or, not frigates, uh, group fighters. Two. Group two. Strike group, prepare for assault. I want you guys Strike to take care of these. Hostile contact. Group one, reports victory. Black frigate, complete. Group one, under Group two, reporting. <laughs> it is dead. <laughs> Strike group to battle position. <laughs> Much firepower. Attack complete. Awaiting further orders. All right, let's go ahead and start making a Strike push. Group attack order confirmed. Strike group receiving fire. Drawing heavy fire. Taking damage, fleet. Everything attack everything. We have a full fleet. Let's go ahead and see if we can get take care of these guys. Good, good. Interceptors, please do your job. Strike group receiving fire. Strike group attack order confirmed. Flak frigate. Group three, you get up here. Group three copies. Strike group prepare for assault. Group two reporting. I'm taking hits here. Group two. Heavy fire confirmed. Group one has defeated the enemy. One. Strike group to battle positions. Strike group reports hostile contact. Strike group reports hostile contact. Group two reporting. Strike and flak frigates, you're going to be group four. Ready. Under fire, requesting orders. Group four designated. Group one reporting. Strike group prepare group for assault. One, keep handling these fighters. Strike group attack order confirmed. Under attack, what's the call? Drawing heavy fire. Taking damage, please. Group one reports victory. Group three, strike group receiving fire. And Supporting we'll start doing the whole Assembly black frigate underway. strategy. Mothership. Strike group receiving fire. Flak frigate complete. Group four reinforced. Group right, one. Group copies. one. Capital ship locked in. Get down here. Group two. Attacking capital ship. Strike group under enemy attack. Strike group under enemy attack. Group you guys need to be healed. Five. Group under three, fire. go get Flight yourself fire. healed. Docking with mother ship. Strike group reports. All right, flag frigates, you stay Roger. here. Guard order confirmed. Roger. Standing by. You're clear to proceed. Slowly start killing this carrier. And now I believe they shouldn't be launching. Yep, they're still launching reinforcements, so they still have some money. Black frigate. It's possible this might just be a scripted thing. Who knows? One. All right, bombers. Strike group to battle position. Take care of them. Group four. Four copies. Ready. 
Group four, reinforced. Nope, your job Degree is to ahead. keep the locked in. ship alive. Group four, reports enemy contact. Lock all weapons on target. Strike group under enemy attack. All right, cool. First under carrier's attack. dead. What's the call? Group one has defeated the enemy. Group one reports enemy contact. I'm taking this here. All right, so it's less infiltrator frigates we have to worry about. Good, good, good. Strike group, prepare for assault. Enemy destroyed. Need new orders. Strike group reports hostile All right, group contact. three. Yep. Flak frigate complete. Keep handling him. Strike group receiving fire. We now have six flak frigates. Heavy fire confirmed. Which is Deploy nice. Units. Copy. Escort pattern locked group in. One. Good. Group, one. group two. Victory. Group three. Strike group attack order confirmed. Everything killed this carrier now. Standing by. Group three copies. Next wave of infiltrator frigates are coming in. Roger. Group four reporting. Group four. Group four reinforced. En route. Group one reporting. Under attack. What's the call? Um, I don't know why you're not in the group. Fire. Confirmed. Group All right. Reinforced. Friendlies under group fire. Three. Take care of him. Group four. Group one. Attack. Attacking capital ship. Group two. Group one Actually, no. Group two. Continue Strike handling the fighters. Group two. Cut. Strike group to battle position. I want to Strike group see something. There we go. Jeez. Enemy unit emerging from hyperspace. Group one has defeated the enemy. Group three standing enemy by. Unit emerging from hyperspace. Interesting. Ready. Group four standing by. Four. Moving to intercept. Drawing heavy fire. Aggressive. There you go. Yeah, see, now we have so many flak frigates that we don't have to worry about these infiltrator frigates. <laughs> and the last carrier is now destroyed. Much easier than last time. <laughs> uh, we did it! We beat mission three. Mothership class hyperspace signature detected. Uh oh. Prepare for immediate contact. Who could it be? Oh, it's the Bentuzi. Indeed. The great harbor ship of Bentus. The last of the Bentusi. Last of the Bentusi came together for one gigantic ship. The time of prophecy is at hand. In the beginning, the great progenitor Sajuk forged the three cores to unlock the mystery of hyperspace. But the three became separated and the progenitors faded from memory. For eons, the cores drifted apart until the first came to the Bentuzi. The second came to your ancestors. In their blindness, they became as the Vega are now, and a great war consumed them also. Before their final hour, they secreted their core from the Emperor and carried it with them into exile. Okay. It remains in your possession. The core of Trinity must be united. The three will awaken Sajuk. Hmm. Only the power of the great progenitor can defeat Makan. And the Vega. This is your destiny. Seek it out among the asteroids of Vienna. The end time has begun. Farewell. Indeed. So the first one belonged to the Bentuzi, the second one involved into the Tidan, which caused them to go into the Great War. And fully operational. They and the third one we found force the Hagaran defense fleet and maintain a supply line to Hagar. The desert. 
Still a little bit of that I'm still confused on. Hyperspace module fully charged. Coordinates for the Gena system locked in. But a lot of people don't like um, the Bentuzi, or not the Bentuzi. The uh, our fate now rests with the Bentuzi. Yes, the Bentuzi are awesome. Uh, a lot of people don't like Cataclysm, even though I really do think it's canon. Because one, Cataclysm explains why there's only one Bentuzi ship. There's a certain mission that uh, you know, causes that to happen. For thousands of years, the old Kith clans worshipped Sajuk as the great maker whose hand shapes what is. Sajuk, a homeworld god. You know there are multiple homeworld it gods. It appears he is neither god nor myth. He is real. And Makan knows this. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. It's been a while since I played the Homeworld 2 game. Gena is a large asteroid field located beyond the Outer Rim, deep within the Vega reaches. The Bentuzi have given us the coordinates of the Oracle. Intelligence data indicates there is a large military installation protecting extensive archaeological dig sites. It is surrounded by hyperspace inhibitors. We have located a weak point. In pair to disengage hyperspace. Woohoo! All right, so before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So yeah, um, when they explain the three cores, I understand the whole point of it, but I still get a little bit confused because it doesn't quite go as well with Homeworld, the original Homeworld lore. Because um, in the original Homeworld. We found the um, Kartoba, which had a um, working hyperspace module. We didn't know like how it worked, but we were able to re reverse engineer it and then, and create a hyperspace module for the um, Kushan mothership, which then we used and broke a a treaty um, that caused the Titan to come after us. So yeah, that's one reason why I don't. I, I like Homeworld 2, but the storyline I don't quite follow all the way because um, it doesn't go like precisely with all the old Homeworld lores. Maybe I just need to play the game more. I don't know. But the reason why there's only one Bentuzi um, ship now, um, I actually do kind of like this part, um, is in one of the episodes of, or one of the missions in Homeworld Cataclysm, you're trying to prevent the Bentuzi from activating a warp gate that goes all the way to another galaxy. Um, so while they're doing that, they lose probably about, you know, half to maybe two thirds of the entire Bentuzi population because they all decided to do this jump at the same time. And since uh, Kip Samatal interfered with them, I think later on in the future, they decided to just bond together into one giant ship, which became the Harbinger. At least that's my head cannon. I hope it's correct. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Sovon signing out. Attention fleet. Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to.